everyone. Welcome to Institutional Knowledge. We're here in the OH Cruise Fee Technology Center at Kansas State University. I'm Lisa Mosier. I do marketing and communications work at the IGP Institute. With me today is Carlos Campobadal. He is our Feed Manufacturing and Grain Quality Management Curriculum Coordinator at the IGP Institute. I've asked him to join us today to tell you a little bit about what he does with the Jeeps Distance Education Program with uh, the IGP Institute. Thank you, Lisa. Well, as part of my uh, work that I do at IGP, uh, I have uh, I do a lot of work with with Jeeps, and which is the Grain Elevator and Process Society. Uh, the, the main role that I do is to manage the and teach at the on-site courses that we do with them. One of them is the, what we call the HOT program, which stands for the hands-on training uh, facility. And the new course that we're doing in 2019, the Grain Elevator Managers course, which is pretty much a modification of the current one that we have here uh, going on for the last uh, 10 years here at IDP. Additionally, for, for Jeeps, uh, I, I pre-review a lot of their lectures that they do for their distance education program. And I'm also one of my roles is to approve their CU, which is a continuing education uh, units that is approved by the university for all different courses and part of their certification program. And Carlos, you do a lot of research on your own too, as in grain storage. Can you talk a little bit about what you do there? Sure, absolutely. As part of my uh, faculty uh, responsibilities and duties and the Department of Grain Science and Industry, I have my own uh, research program that I, I call the uh, Grain Quality Management Research Program. And uh, one of the emphasis that I do is to try to find different techniques on how to store grain using non-chemical alternatives. And uh, we like to do, I like to do a lot of these projects in, in field, meaning at the elevator, at the farm level, uh, not in the lab, not modeling, just to get the data how things will behave at, at the, in the field. Uh, part of the other things is also on the technology. How can we bring new technology to be incorporated into the grain industry? And at the same time, that also help us get information that is available to our uh, extension program that I'm part of it through Kansas State uh, University to help farmers, grain elevators, and anybody that processes and, and stores uh, grain here. So I've got one more question for you. So as an instructor in IGP courses, then how do you use this research knowledge? How do you bring that into the classroom? Yeah, that's actually one of the benefits of doing the research that, that we like to come up with new information that is already peer reviewed, that is already validated, and then we teach that uh, to our to our participants. Uh, for example, we're working on a project how to store U.S. corn in tropical weather. So we're actually doing the research project in Southeast Asia. And all those results validated and replicated, we tried to take what are those best strategies that we came up with and transmit them to our participants that come from other parts of the world where they have similar or uh, weather conditions like in Southeast Asia. That's really interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. So that concludes this installment of Institutional Knowledge. Check back again soon for a future segment.